He, okay. He reminds me of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he? Is he missing his nose or something? I don't know. <laughs> Savers. I swore I was never going to come back to Savers, but a couple things. Curiosity is just kind of killing me. I want to see all the stuff I've been hearing about. They've moved to self-checkout and no bags, and that just made me think I forgot to bring my bags. Oh, well. I don't anticipate buying very much here. A Savers seriously is, their pricing has gotten really bad. And um, they are a for-profit thrift store. They are not a nonprofit. They affiliate with nonprofits in that they purchase goods for not, from nonprofits, blah, blah, <laughs> from nonprofits for pennies on the dollar. So keep that in mind. Um, but you know what? We're gonna go in. And we're gonna see, and I say we're because I'm meeting Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas over here too. Uh, so I'm sitting here watching for her to arrive. Oh, I think I see her actually. So we are gonna go in and see what we can find. Let's go get shop done. Yep, there it is. I used to shop this store weekly, maybe sometimes more than weekly. It used to be my favorite place to shop. So let's go in with an open mind and see what we can find. Okay, it's Savers, we think. When you donate, you get 20% off. So Tiffany was nice enough to bring me a bag too. <laughs> we just gotta find somebody out here to uh, take our goodies and give us our coupon. So got a little coupon, oh, on a purchase of up to $100. Because heaven forbid they should encourage anybody to spend more than $100 in the store. I want to know what the marketing department is behind this store because they suck. <laughs> I will openly say that. Yeah. All right. Let's see if this is the lucky cart. I have to back out because I couldn't take a cart from there. I had to I could take one from deep inside. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave the cart right here for a second. I love the feet on this table. They do. It's very exotic. I don't know. Exotic's not the right word. But we're gonna use it. Like, these are like bird feet on these. This is like the, the it's supposed to mimic the claw and ball from old, but it's not. It's like reproduction of that. Poker table. Poker anyone? Lots of chairs. Lots of... Top of a hutch. Would make a good display piece if you had something to put it on. It's, it's handily things. <laughs> Is that a technical It's thing? just, yes, there's handily things on the side of this stool. It's a stool. I'm carrying. sticking with it. With handling things. Okay. Yeah, well, I hope. Yeah, there's, it looks like they're, yeah, they're getting ready for some Halloween right here. But they got a little bit. <laughs> got a little bit out. Whoa. A $2.99. He's just a sticker. Just a sticker for $2.99. Oh. He, okay. He reminds me of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, yeah. Doesn't he? Is he missing his nose or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of cute. He's kind of broken though, too. Okay. Cough nostrum. All right. That's so great. I'm gonna leave Tiffany over there and I'm gonna go the other way 
Meet her on the other side. Ooh, the candle section. Maybe, just maybe we'll find a glassy baby to make this all worthwhile. But I am gonna look at this end cap first and see what's going on here. $3.99. We do get 20% off. <sighs> I'm just a little bitter. These are, pretty sure these are Temptations, but these are $3 each. Yes, they are Temptations, but they're $3 each. Each. That is no good. Well, see if we can make the best of this. Oh, that looks like a Blanco Owl. It's $30. Even with 20% off, it'd still be like $24. So, he's a no-go. I like him though. Liked him a lot. All right, let's see if we can salvage this trip and find something in a price range that we can take it home. As I said though, I'm not super hopeful. Not super hopeful. And the thing is with this thrift store too, they don't even have that many employees anymore because it's all self-checkout. They don't have cashew. Like, come on, come on. It's cute, it's a glass flower, but $16.99, for real? Ugh. It's just frustrating, because the stuff will end up in the landfill, because they will throw it away if it doesn't sell. I have caught them on camera throwing stuff away. Why does that, why does that, okay. All right, I don't like to make a negative video. I don't wanna do that. So let's just check out some cool stuff and have a little laugh. <laughs> I mean, there's stuff that I would buy. I would totally, I would totally buy those if they weren't four and seven dollars. They're just not four and seven dollars worthy. What is, oh, it's a, <laughs> oh, is he, I guess he's supposed to stand up and then be looking, okay. So he's just like, he's a, he's a lame duck. That's what he is. Poor little guy. Well, Big Lots is next door. Oh. <sighs> I have to come in here every once in a while just to remind myself why I no longer come in here. And it makes me sad because I used to shop here every single week and spend hundreds of dollars. And if they've lost my business, I know they've lost many others just like me. So I don't know who is making the decisions for this company, but they are driving it into the ground. And I will openly say that, openly say that. And I have been in retail my entire life, so I'm not coming from a point of not understanding retail. Goodness. Don't see anything. It would just be a hoot to find a glassy baby though, I'm telling you. Oh, that's a glass hummingbird feeder, but it's super cracked on the plug. How much is it? And see, and it's $3.99. I would have paid that if it wasn't in rough condition. All right. I think this row is gonna be a bust. Pretty sure. Got some frames and loud music. This looks of the style of that laundry hamper that I just got. 
$3.99. Now, you know what? That's not so bad. And I see this little area here, but it's it's not too bad. This is vintage. Uh, and just kind of assessing this damage on the backside here. You know what? At $3.99, I think I can still do okay with this. So we're going to get that. Whew. Finally got something. All right, we're gonna poke through the baskets here. See, I'm looking for a soda, a can, soda can holder for the fridge. I almost thought that was one, but it's it's not quite right for that. And then we've got lots of clear glass. This guy's kind of pretty. Oh, bridal elegance centerpiece, and it's plastic. I would not have guessed that was plastic. Some good quality plastic they got going there. This looks like one of the Yankee Candle crackle glass candle holders. $4.99. And it needs that all that wax taken out of there. Now, yes, there is a trick. You stick it in the freezer overnight and after that wax freezes, it pretty much pops right off of there. But it's just not enough value for me to even mess with it. So I will leave that for someone else. Oh, we have some glass flowers. They are, they're $5 and we have our little 20% coupon. These look really, really good in the booth, especially like red. So I probably will pick these up, but I'll ask Tiffany if she'd like them because she already has some. Um, so I'll, I'll give her first dibs on these, but they're $4.99 each. I'll show you the other ones. So there's a red one. There is a really pretty white one. And there is, oh, there's leaves. Wait a minute. I don't think I've ever seen the leaves before. We've got this blue one. Let's take a peek at the leaves. That's interesting. Now they're $4.99 as well. I don't know about, but you know, that does make like a whole display. Hmm. Again, I'm gonna probably look up what the glass leaf goes for. Sometimes stuff like that can go for more than the more common pieces. So there we go. Okie dokie, let's see if there's anything else, Colin. This does look, from a distance, like an older piece. And it very well could be. Uh, it's two dollars and forty-nine cents. You know what? That's not bad. I'm gonna grab this. I do love the uh, fake florals because that's the only thing that I can grow. <laughs> so I have a lot of fake florals around my home. This is Raku. This oh, it's broken. It is twenty bucks for that piece of raku. You know that it wouldn't be bad if it wasn't broken. It's pretty, very pretty. I'm just gonna, no. I like to peek at the bottoms of, you know, some of the already done florals to see what kind of a pot they put it in. Sometimes it can be in a vintage pot and they're pricing it based on the actual bouquet instead of the pottery. This is a cut to clear little vase, but it's not actually cut to clear because it is a stained or flashed blue. So it's not the real good stuff. All right. I know. I'm looking at him again. I so wish he wasn't 30 bucks. Okay. This is the row that Tiffany was just down. So let's see. It's always fun, you know, to both shop the same row and then see our comments on each other's videos about why we left something behind. 
like this mosaic giraffe. I bet, oh, it's got a broken ear. I was gonna say, it's either a price, oh, and it's still $15. So, it's a, it's a double whammy. It's that he's broken and he's overpriced. Oh, this is a Hummel look-alike. A lot of companies were mimic, mimic, mimicking the very expensive Hummels of the time. So they made those look-alike figurines. Okay. Yeah, nothing too exciting yet. Lots of those little cat's meow. These are called cat's meow. Yep, there they are. 2001. And they're all little different places and buildings. There was a time when those were very expensive. But it is not now. Alright. You can get these at the dollar store. Literally, you can get these for $1 at the dollar store. And how much are they at Savers? <laughs> okay, at least they priced them at a dollar. I have seen them priced higher, which is just a little mind boggling. And goodness, what are you made of? That's weird. I don't, I just, I don't even know. I don't even know. These are made to look like buyer's choice, but these are made in China and not of that quality. Again, reproductions. Oh, she's very cute. Little satin glass piece. Oh, that would have sat. Looks like that's part of something else. Part of something. Oh, look at the. Ouch. I just really just knuckled myself on that uh, shelf there. Look at him. Ah, uh, he's very, very cute, but can't do $7. So he will stay there. We've got a spode Christmas tree ornament. I'm thinking that is probably overpriced, or Tiffany would have scooped that up. Four dollars, and it probably sells. I'm gonna guess in the range of mm, ten to fifteen. So you can't pay four dollars for it. Not all spode is created equal. We've got corn corn holders. Hey, how about some super bright lights? I do like the pastel colors of these. Hmm. I might have to get these. Are 1996 super bright lights? Brand new in the package. I'm gonna grab these. That's kind of a nice Santa Claus. I think he's just made of resin. Oh, he's a very, very broken Santa. Oh, he was Department 56. Unfortunately, he is very broken. Not even just a little broken. He's a lot broken. Oh, this is funny. Huh. It looks like a hobbyist piece and there's a bunch of these little things missing, but it's an elf decorating the tree by standing on the reindeer. But it's 10 bucks. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alrighty then. That's got a neat look to it, but again, 10 bucks. Hobbyist piece. There's one of these. We've been on the lookout for these. But that one's really broken. So... That's a no-go. Let's see, anything else? I'd be curious to see if there's anything in Tiffany's cart. Did she find anything on these shelves? We'll catch up with her in just a moment. Let's peruse through the baggies on the wall. 
see if we can find anything good. Little pumpkins, but nothing, nothing worth spending the moolah on. We used to have a couple little vintage Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus in there, but everything else is pretty run of the mill. And the bag is $7.99. <sighs> Even for $4.99, I might have grabbed that. Let's see what else is on the baggie wall. Yep, I see some sugared pieces. $4 is not horrible bad, except for the fact that these are in really bad shape. So they have to be in good shape. They're not gonna, they're not gonna sell if they're in bad shape. Just keep that in mind. We got corn, pepper, five bucks so. That's too much. That's too much. Okay. I hear a screaming child over the weir. You're just gonna turn this off for a moment. Well, let's see what's happening in the Savers mug section. You did spot these Santa Clauses right off the bat. Boston Warehouse. Boston Warehouse is a pretty decent brand for resale. And these look, I say these because there's one here too. These look to be pretty new. So you know what? I'm going to pick up those Santa Clauses for $1.99 each. I'm going to go from the top and work my way down here. Wait for it. Hamilton. Yeah, you know, I could not get through that movie. I know some of you, that, that, that you're going to say that's blasphemy. I just, I couldn't do it. I got so bored with it. It was just not my thing. So, I never got the whole Hamilton craze. That's a really cool pattern. Who makes that? Not marked. Alaska. All right. The snowmen are pretty stinking cute too. They are also Boston Warehouse. Okay, I'm gonna grab the snowmen also. And there's only one reindeer. Everything else had two, darn it. Maybe he's still in here somewhere. I'm gonna peek, but I am gonna pick up the reindeer for $1.99 also. I did spot a Starbucks mug, but $7.99. Nope, no can do. This looks like, oh no, that's not, that one almost fools me, because it mimics a Starbucks pattern. And who are you? Let's see. You're a fish. You're a really cool looking fish by Clay Art. And if you are not chipped, I will pick you up for $1.99. All right, well, it looks like the mug section is going to be our, our best spot. <laughs> oh, what are you? Let's see real quick. Another little snowman. I don't know who makes you. Oh, that looks like um, like a dollar store snowman. I will just put you there. Precious moments is a no. We got a Tinker Bell. Oh, we got a Tinker Bell for a dollar ninety nine. Now I do have Barkeeper's Friend that should take all those marks out of there, so I will pick her up for a dollar ninety nine. All right, let's see. Who does this one? What does that say? Made in China, just says microwave and dishwasher safe. Really pretty color, but nothing special that is worthy of picking up. This is a shame that this is kind of not, or maybe it is all here. Wait a minute. Hang on. Full the fort. Is this all here? <gasps> Look. Now I think it would have had, it would have all been on like a Lazy Susan underneath it. Who makes these? It's made by Sterile, Sterile, Sterilite? Hmm, kind of cool. 
but I think it would have had a wood piece. Let's see what Tiffany says. You think this would have all gone like on a lazy Susan that would have, would have had like a handle come up? Looks like it has sort of. Yeah, it's meant to have something. It's a shame because it's cool. Okay, I got to show you something in my cart. Got the flowers, which you may have if you like. Oh, look at she's such a fun sponge. Okay, that one's broken. We're gonna put you back on the shelf. That's the prettiest one too. I know, isn't it? Uh, what do you think of the leaves? I don't think you know, I've... that brings me to the topic of um, I had to resort at the risk of having nothing in my cart, <laughs> putting things in my cart that I would have purchased but for the price. But yeah. I, I like those leaves. I don't think I've, I've ever seen, seen them, the leaves. Right? right? So would you would you like the flowers? You, you, you I know you flowers. like the flowers. You, you take the okay. flowers. Okay. Oh, look what I just found! I found the second reindeer. <laughs> Yay! You have a friend. And this um I don't know what this is. It has a secret compartment here. Oh. There's nothing in it. I is expect. it like a game? I don't know. It almost reminds me of like a cribbage board. Oh, it's the batteries. They, oh, batteries. But Wait, think, what? So I think something must be missing on top. Okay, let's peek. I'm, I'm creeping in Tiffany's cart. She did end up with some stuff, but again, the prices are just yeah, kind of cuckoo. Yeah, this is what I would have picked out, but for the prices, just uh, the risk of having nothing in my cart. <laughs> I, mean, I love this Mexican platter, but That is, look, but 12 99 Woo, oh. mama. Hey, that's it. In, well, I mean, just on the, the own carving of it being an ostrich, it's cool. This guy is super okay. adorable. Oh, he is. Oh, he is. He looks like a Oaxacan pottery. Interesting. Because usually you see him there, Tanala. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that the Tanala did the black. This is Raku. And you can tell it's Raku because of that blackened bottom and some With of that cracking. and some exactly. of that cracking. Yeah. But it is like a student piece of Raku. Mm -hmm. So it's, they didn't get the glaze quite right on the inside. Unfortunately, son of a nutcracker. Yeah, that's how <laughs> I'd feel if I finished that and didn't get the glaze right too. All right, let's see what other overpriced gems are on the shelf. How about a pig platter made by Summer? <laughs> oh, there's a farm cookie jar that's really, really cute, but it's $15, so can't do it, can't do it. In order to spend $15, it would need to be able for, for me to resell it for at least like $45 to make it worthwhile to deal with. There is a Temptations. Nice Temptations canister. There you can see what the bottom looks like. This is an old world pattern. It is in good shape. It's $7.99, even with the 20%. Brings it down to about six bucks, I think. Eight times, yeah, like $6.40. Uh, you know what? I think that's worth it. I am going to pick that up. Look at this guy. He has a very Fitz and Floyd look. Please don't be like $100. <laughs> oh, it says B-I-C-O. I'm not sure who B-I-C-O is, but he's only $4.99. Oh, darn. He's only $4.99, but he's got a big chip. I don't know, though. He's really nice. And that chip is on the underneath. And it is almost Thanksgiving. He is cool. He is cool. You know what? He's only five bucks. I'm gonna get him. Yes on the rooster? I think yes on the rooster. I like him. He's cool. I like I I think you could on eBay you could get twenty to thirty for him. And his colors are great. Look at these bowls. Who makes oh William Sonoma. For $5.99 each though, let's see. There's just two of them. I may look this one up. 
because Williams-Sonoma is a pretty bougie brand. So let's see what these go for. I just looked these up and a pair of these will sell for 60 bucks. But it's got a little chippy. Now I gotta decide. It's a very, very tiny chippy and it could be touched up. And that one's got a very, very tiny chippy. You know what? I still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chance it. Cause even if I got 30 for them, I'd be okay. So we're gonna pick those up. Ooh, look what we just found up here. Fox. It's like Fox and the Hound. Oh, the mark is underneath there. It's only $4.99. That's cool. What's, where's the damage? Where's the damage? I don't see any. Oh, there is some right there. Hmm. Is that enough to... I think I'm gonna get him. He's cool. There's a mark under there. Can't tell what it is. But just the fact that he's a he's a fox in the hunt scene. I'm gonna grab him. Look at this. I'm this is I, I there's I'm remembering somebody picking up this black cookware. Um and I'm wondering. I'm wondering, Blue Harbor. I don't think that's it, but you know what? I am gonna look it up just in case because it's it's got a really nice look to it. It's $15, so it's gotta have a substantial resale value. Let's look it up. Oh, you have a little friend with you. Look at that, he was so quiet, I didn't even see him. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, he's so shy, too. Look at him. COVID has been very hard on him because all he gets is me. Hey, baby. He's a people dog. You are so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, can I pet you? Is it? Oh, goodness. Oh, look. Look at, look at. He just got a tail going. Oh, we're in love. We're in love. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, look at that face. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. You get back to work. <laughs> yeah, we have people asking for cherries and I just found this. And not only is it cherries, which is what made me look at it, it's Mary Engelbright Santa Barbara Ceramic Design. And Santa Barbara Ceramic Design is really good. And Mary Engelbright's very collectible. So there's a, there's a twofer. $3.99. I got distracted by the doggy, so I'm not sure if I came back and told you this has a resale value of about $20, so that's not coming home. But I'm a little more hopeful now that we're finding some things, so it just goes to show the pricing's only as good as the people doing the pricing knowing what everything is worth. And if they don't know, then I don't... What is... I don't even know. <laughs> but I was really coming up here to look at this decanter with the etched eagle. It's missing a stopper. But I'm wondering if it would be worth looking for a stopper for that because that's a really cool design. And it is only $3.99, which is a good price. Oh, it says twin. No. It would help if I wasn't trying to read it upside down now, wouldn't it? Bicentennial, oh duh. <laughs> it says Bicentennial, I'm trying to read it upside down. That's a totally different word. Okay, we're gonna grab him. Let's see if there's anything else here. I'm gonna be on the lookout now for a decanter stopper. Oh, you guys are cute. Yes, I know I say cute a lot because things are just cute to me and it's one of the things that makes me buy things. It's one of the things that makes everybody buy things. $3 each. I don't know this brand. They they are good quality. I will say that. Um, minimally, they're $10 a piece mugs. So with the Christmas season coming, I'm going to pick those up. This is a flashed piece. So I just don't even bother with those. 
I don't see anything old up there. I do see this nice little fan dish, but it's got a chip. That looks like a hobbyist piece too. It's got a little like initials etched in it. Got some pretty blue, like a teal blue, but it feels like very cheap glass. This is a decent piece, but again, $7.99, just, it's not that exciting. This guy's got a little shovel running through him. He's, he's kind of adorable, but not adorable enough to go home with me. Let's see what you are. Little, oh, it's metal. I thought that was gonna be like pottery. Made in India from home goods. So not, not like, oh, oh, I have to take this to Tiffany. Let me go find her. I don't know where she went. Which way did she go? All right. <laughs> I know, it's going in my cart until I find her. <laughs> All right, look what we have here. Now it is missing the weights, but that doesn't bother me too bad. Those weights show up at yard sales and such and it's got all of its part oh, until I saw that <laughs> so that will stay there and sadly we'll probably end up in the landfill because nobody is going to pay $50 for a pieced out cook cuckoo clock that's got to be all put back together and doesn't even have all the pieces uh, if it had all the pieces, that'd be a different story. That would be a $50 cuckoo clock all day long. But, oh my goodness. What has happened here? Oh no. <laughs> well, that was a little on the disturbing side, I have just got to say. Oh. At least this trip is making me laugh. It is truly making me giggle out loud as I do my shopping. <laughs> um, um, okay, I thought this was a piece of art and it's not. It's like some dirty bicycle or car parts. Let's move along. I have something for you. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the you got the black light. I don't think I've ever seen one and it's like original silver plate. Let's get under here where it's a little darker. It's not as glowy as you would think it would be. It's it's glowing a little bit. There you go. Pretty. Thank you For very you. much. All right. They've got just a little mishmash of everything on this shelf. It's pretty packed together. So we're going to have to sharpen our little spidey senses and see what we can find. Oops. had to cross in front of someone, so I had to do that quickly. Let's see what we got up here. Wish there was a little decanter stopper up here. That would be really great. That would be fantastic. Here, let's put you with your friend. What are these? Oh, Marilyn Monroe coasters. Oh, is it $3.99 for the set? That might not be too shabby. They are glass coasters. Yeah, it's $3.99 for the set. So you, whoa, don't fall up there. Oh, we got 45 minutes left. Holy moly. They're always kicking us out of the store, Tiffany. Okay, I'm gonna pick up the glass Marilyn Monroe coasters for $3.99. Let's kind of backtrack here. Someone else was shopping and I just kind of scooted by them. And I saw these sitting here as well. 
They are oh, $10 though. Really pretty, but can't pay $10 for coasters and resell them. So, oh! <laughs> okay, you're not like $1,000. You're coming home with me, little bad boy. Let's see how much your little owl friend is. $6. These don't sell for a whole lot, so I can't I can't pay 6 for them. Just can't do it. And there's a little iron. He's $5. This one's for me. This one's not for resale. Let's see. It's just a Sometimes just a plain nice wooden cross is just beautiful. Are these glass? They are, but they look flashed. They are flashed. Or stained, or I don't know what the technical term is, but they're not the color of the glass. Let's put it that way. Boy, my nails are just a hot mess. <laughs> Every time I pick something up, I'm painfully aware. Ooh, let's see what Magic 8-Ball says about it. Let's see. False decline. Okay. Are we gonna find any more good stuff? Um, use caution. Okay, I'll use caution, but are we gonna find anything? Use caution, I don't know. I'm getting some warning, Tiffany, that we are to use caution with my magic eight ball here. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, let's see. Use caution when pulling out the uh, credit card, I think, is <laughs> the name of the game here. Yokohama Studio. Is that good? It's good. Oh, she found something good. Oh, that's pretty. I wish there was more. There might be mixed in all of this. I think we're getting close to the speaker because it's getting loud. This is a cool tin with a ship on it, a little scratched up on top. Container made in Western Germany, but it's $7.99. Can't do it. It's probably worth a $15 to $20. Can't pay eight and get ahead in this business. So just frustrating, frustrating. Okay, we're going down the cookware. It's a pretty enamel pot. I'm just now going to be a little bit more discriminating because checking out is going to be kind of a hassle because they don't have bags. <laughs> so now I'm determining how much more do I really want to put in my cart and deal with. All right. All right, kind of going through some of the bathroom stuff. There wasn't anything really here, but I saw this one more little end cap coming up here. And this is that anthropology style. Let's turn it over. Moldax, chartreuse bud bait, Moldax. It was a $46.99, but really chipped up. And it's 30 bucks, so. How about some succulents? It's got a little bag of succulents. <laughs> These are bamboo, but they got wet, so they are completely warped. Oh, who are you? You're kind of cute. A little blasphemous <laughs> with the skeleton guy on a cross. From Mexico, I guess it's like, um, like that Day of the Dead kind of thing. But it's $12.99. So, that's a no-go. That is the top to a decanter. All right, nothing else exciting here. I see a little pirate dog. What are you? Are you dish towels? You are dish towels. Pirate dog dish towels. $2.49. I do get 20% off, so he'd be about two bucks. I'm picking, uh, there's two of them, so I'm picking them up. All right, let's see if there's anything else in the, this was in the placemats. Oh, those are really pretty. I like those. 
Yeah, but I, I'm going to pass on them for now. It's not something I need to be picking up right now. We are going to look for more tablecloths. That one's very Halloween colors. $6.99 though. I don't want to pay $6.99. Don't want to do it. That's a nice brown. Yeah, I'm not super motivated here. They are a little on the pricey side. Well, let's go back here to the big goods and see what we can find. All right, I just parked my car, my cart, my car, my cart. What is wrong with me? I just parked my cart. <laughs> so I can just peruse these shelves a little bit. Oh, we got some big old flowers for 20 bucks. 20 bucks. How about a spoon? That is a spoon. Uh, that's a... Wow. That's a spoon. It is a $10 spoon. Uh, that, <laughs> okay, it's got the Ross thing on there that says compare at $18, so you know it was a lot less than $18. And then they priced it at 10. No. Just no. This store forgets that it's a thrift store. This is a really nice uh, Last Supper. Very vintagey. I'm actually going to dig this out because I want to look at it a little closer. Let's unbury it from all the foliage here. Metal foliage. And see if this is vintage. Nope, it is Ross. <laughs> it was a $13.99 Ross and $7.99 at Savers. Oh my goodness. It's kind of a cool laundry hamper. Not as cool as the one I got yesterday though. Oh, she's probably like a million dollars. No, she's only 10 bucks. Hey Tiffany, did you see this? She's kind of cool. I think we need her. Put something on her. <laughs> we could even put coffee mugs around there and then jewelry on the top. Ooh, some brooches. Yes. Okay. Some necklaces and then brooches on the back. Yeah, yeah. Ten dollars. We're grabbing her. These are nice obelisks, except for the fact. Well, they're very lightweight. I expected them to have some weight to them, but both of them are broken on top. Obelisks sell really well, so I always look at them. This has a really nice crystalline finish to it, too. That's a shame. That's a shame. All right. They are trying to kick us out. They want us to go check out. This is another one of those woven plastic totes. And I researched these a little bit and they sell for really good money. So this one's only five bucks. I'm going to grab it. And right next to my cart, there sits another one for $4.99. This one's a little shallower. They're probably supposed to be a set, but they're still, those are really practical. I'm going to grab that. Well, you know, I got to look. I got to look and I'm not seeing anything that's exciting me, which is good. So... It's very noisy over here. Except there's really pretty uh, kind of a butterfly thing going on here. It's a, it's a solar butterfly. It needs its stake though. The stake that goes in the ground to hold the butterfly up. All right, nothing here. All right, we're gonna peruse through the art. I did always like the way that Savers did their art. I do like that piece right there. Just all laid out on the shelf like so. These are an elephant and a little leopard or something. Hmm, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Boy, I am living proof of that, you guys. I am living proof of that. Let's see. Anything else exciting? I see a little papyrus art down there. Egyptian, the Egyptian art is not really my thing, so I don't tend to pick that up. <laughs> Cute little kitties, though, are kind of more my thing, but um, 
Not at $10. This is a really famous artist right here, and sometimes the prints can sell for really good money. This looks like a piece of fabric off of something. Not sure what, but it's not a painting or a print. It is a piece of fabric. Life is too short to make, to make others shorter, huh? Life is too short to make others shorter. That doesn't really make sense to me. I don't understand. I like the animals on it, but I don't understand that saying. It's a little, it's a little confusing to me. Oh, let's see. A very poorly done gnome. I feel like I have to explain that. You're gonna go, why did you pass up the gnome? Cause I can just see he's just not done very well. We got an Ansel Adams, just a poster. Some other, I just don't need any big art right now. I gotta tell ya, don't need anything big right now. Gotta get this move done and then I'll look at big stuff again. All right, I don't see anything in the art that I need today. I don't think. Wait, oh, I thought for a second that was Twin Towers. Whew. Uh, but it's not. Okay. Well, I was just consulting with Tiffany on this piece. Um, it is an original oil. It is an impressionist style. It is vintage. As you can see back here, it's not cut down. It's in its original wrapped, stretched, I guess is the correct term. Uh, canvas. The frame is from Mexico. I, I believe this, the frame leads me to believe it was framed at least in like the 70s. This is like a 70s style frame. It does have some damage. I mean, I'm thinking you could take all of this, this little inner wood off and replace it with another kind of wood uh, if you wanted to salvage the frame. It's $12.99. I think I'm going to take a chance on it. I'm gonna do a quick skim around the toys just to see what little goody nuggets are sitting there. A very dirty little TY seal. Rachel's gonna have a big room again. She's gonna be able to display all her stuffed animals. The kids are as, exci as excited as I am about this move because they have not had very good rooms at this house. They've had really dinky rooms and Rachel hasn't been able to have all her cool stuff displayed and we've made the best of it, but they're super excited to be getting big rooms again with lots of shelving and places to put their stuff. Okay, here's all my goodies. It is time to go check out. This is it. This is the whole, the self checkout thing here. Um, this is just crazy to me. This is customer service El Disappiro. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. What else do you do?
it was pretty much what was expected. It was completely overpriced, ridiculously so. And I heard other customers like saying the same thing. Oh, somebody just flashed their, their car on. Um, this store is going to go, this company is going to go out of business. I, you just mark my words. I have been in the retail business for most of my life. Since I was 17 years old, I have been in the retail business. I've owned my own retail businesses. And you cannot go down this path. The coupon that we got for donating cuts off at $100. Literally, like, it encourages their customers not to spend over $100 if they want to use the discount. Oh, and now they just turn their lights on. Oh, that makes me look really freaky. <laughs> it's like studio light, but not. Um, okay, I'm gonna let them pull away. So I'm like, not so freaky looking. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I don't, I don't like I don't like negative. I don't, I didn't, I didn't want to make a negative video, but it's really difficult when it's just so blatant. It's so blatant in the self-checkout. Self, -checkout. <sighs> self -checkout, no bags. I, I don't even know what to say. I will not be coming back to Savers. This is it. I mean, this was like, I haven't been back since they did the whole self-checkout thing, and, and I, honestly, that was just, that's the final straw for me to really just ever want to come back here. And I used to spend a thousand dollars or more a month with this store. Not not just the, like the stores. There's several of them here in Vegas. One of them already has closed. I don't know about the other ones. Uh, I just don't know how they can sustain doing this. And I have caught them on video before. You can go back in my playlist and see I have caught them just throwing stuff in a trash can because it didn't sell. Because it was overpriced. So anyway. We still we managed to find some good stuff. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say that everything was garbage. We did find some good stuff, but it was really like scrounging through and debating. I'm like, you know, my like, paying too much for it. Some stuff we did, you know, pay a little more than we'd want to. I did put one of those mugs back. I put the little, the little elf mug had a crack. Not the ones that were in pairs, but like the other, the, the last one that I found. So I did put one of those back. But anyway, all right, all good. I'm really hoping that painting turns out to be something really special. It's very difficult if it doesn't have a signature. Likelihood of me finding out who the artist is is eh, pretty slim. I'm thinking, I mean, I haven't done any research or anything, but I'm thinking just on face value, that's a $50 to $60 painting pretty easily. Somebody just has to fall in love with it. All right, so three stores in one day. And this was the final one of those stores. You can see it's dark out. Come back, hit the subscribe button so you know when to come back so that YouTube will just share with you when I upload another video. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.